Hey Jamly, okay, so it is November 1st, 2016, and I just want to make sure I put this on record for myself. Um, I'm going to go see my doctor about some issues I've been having with my joints and with muscles and stuff like that. I know we've been missing, you know, quite a few days. We'll vlog a day and then we'll miss a couple of days, and there's a reason behind that, and that's because I can't seem to recover um if i exert myself or i do stuff throughout the day i've noticed that it's taking me longer and longer to find my energy again um but i'm also hurting everywhere like all my joints um my worst ones are my wrists my hands and my elbows are really bad i don't talk about it too much um if you notice i'm not holding the camera it's painful to grip the camera and pick it up and hold it um and of course i my job that i do is typing and so that's become even worse um as i have to try to type i'm constantly rubbing at my hands they always feel really cold so i'm not sure but i wanted to document this just so that way when i do see the doctor um if I happen to forget something that needs to be said to her or whatnot, I can always pull this up and look at it so that way I can tell her what is really going on, like what's really bothering me. Um, my hip joints have been really sore. Uh, they're not as bad as my elbows. Um, my elbows, especially to the outer side here, are very, like, very sore. They're so bad at times where I can't get comfortable, I can't sleep. And, uh... That's kind of scary, and I don't really talk about it too much, only because of the fact that I'm trying to stick to the positive and show, like, you know, the, the good side of things and whatnot. So I try not to document these kind of horrible things, but I wanted to make sure I had this in here, that this is when it really got to a point where I actually needed to go ahead and just see a doctor. Um, I usually don't go to the doctor too often. I'm not a fan of it. I think that a lot of times they treat symptoms but not the actual problem. And so I don't want to go and have her do the same thing she's done before when I needed my surgery. Um, where she just was like, well here, just take this and, and that should take away the pain. Instead of actually correcting the problem. Um, which eventually ended up resulting in a surgery. Um, and that's what I think she's going to do is she's just going to end up prescribing me some, you know, um, anti-inflammatory or whatever instead of really getting to the bottom of what is causing what's causing the pain we know that there's pain but there's got to be something underlining what's causing it what's causing the inflammation what's causing the buildup of the tissue hurting so bad um, and so that's kind of my my fear of why I haven't gone back to her in a while but it's at a point now where I, I need to go go and actually see the doctor um, because it's gotten to a point where it's now starting to interfere with day-to-day -day things so hang in there with me guys i mean we we will be vlogging more and more as i try to get this under control and get this pain to subside but i do know that i'm very fatigued i'm not sleeping I, i've already told you guys that I, I suffer with insomnia but it's i think it's more than that at this point um my insomnia has never been so bad that i've you know gone four and five days without sleep and that's kind of where i'm at now i'm in so much discomfort i can't actually get to sleep and uh, so between the insomnia and the pain, that doesn't bear well when you are, when you're trying to work and do other things on top of it. So I know this isn't like your typical vlog, but I wanted to document this. I wanted this on record for me to look back at and say, okay, this was the day that I, like, I needed to say something. This is the day where the pain was enough, the irritation was enough, the problem was enough, and, um... My eye is definitely getting better. It's still really bruised on my, my eyelid <laughs> um, from Tonks getting me in my eye. Uh, I do have a scab in my inner corner, and hopefully that'll be gone in a couple of days. But, yeah, so if you were in the hangout yesterday or you watched yesterday's vlog, then you'll know kind of what happened. Um, and so, yeah. But I'm trying not to do too much work with my hands. Um, they are very sore um my an my ankles my wrists are really 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 cramped up and my knuckles hurt really bad but i think the worst part the worst one for me is my elbows um like i was saying earlier so 
we'll, we'll see how that goes. And of course, I repeat myself quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so hang in there with us, guys. And thank you all for being amazing and understanding. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what else. Like, today has just been really rough. Like, yesterday was great. Like, we had a fun. We did, you know, Halloween and stuff. Zero trick-or-treaters. We had one person that came through, and then we gave some candy to our neighbor's kids. Um, but after yesterday and the you know we did I did my face makeup I did Kai's makeup I did Sarah's Taylor wasn't too much into getting face paint which was fine but I think I really did too much yesterday because today my body just was not wanting to recover I couldn't seem to find the energy um to really pull myself up and get some things done I wanted to get the decorations pulled down today um I've got some other fall decorations that need to go up for Thanksgiving and um, I just couldn't find the energy. Like the energy just wasn't there. And um, that's scary. I don't know if any of you guys suffer from anything like that with like a, a really bad fatigue. Um, if you do, like tell me, like tell me how it is that you guys find ways to recover from it. I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear from you. Hold on, it's Taylor. Hey kiddo. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. Right. Love ya. Bye. Sorry guys, it's Taylor calling in. He's on his way home. Um, but if you guys suffer with fatigue or even the inability to just find a real source of energy, let me know. Like, what kind of tricks do you guys do to get yourselves going? What are your motivations? Um, you know, I, I mean, I have to, I, I get up of course and get the minimal things that I need done. Like I, I get on, I get on the computer and I get my work stuff done. But when there's other things that you had your mind set on doing, but you just can't find the energy to get up and do it, what do you guys do to kind of boost that? Um, I'd like to know. I'd like to know some of the things you guys do. And if any of you are suffering with something like a fatigue syndrome or, um, I know that my a friend of mine was just recently diagnosed with fibromyalgia, but when I read through the information on that, I don't think that that's what it is for me uh, because there are times where I can go, 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 and I don't feel run down, and I don't feel that that's what this is either. I think there's got to be something else going on. Uh, my joints and stuff are just so overly sore, and I, that I think is what's leading to me being so constantly tired because I'm not sleeping well. So I just want to figure out what's the reason for that. And so I know that my fatigue is more than likely from lack of sleep and discomfort. So, um, yeah, just tell me what you guys do to boost your energy or to give you motivations. Um, even when you're feeling at your worst, tell me, tell me your guys's ways of getting around that. And, um, yeah, so there's, what I'm gonna put down for today. Uh, I know this is more like a classic styled vlog where I'm just logging what's happening right now. And so this is what I'm gonna put up for you guys. I hope that that's not a big problem. Um, I do these to help other people, but also for my record. Um, I wanna be able to look back at this and, and pull some information. And um, yeah, so thank you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching guys.